what could have been a legendary 3-0 start for the Iowa Hawkeyes in the Big Ten turned into an absolute jaw dropper as Michigan State came back from an 11 point deficit at halftime. The first half seemed to be all in Iowa's favor as they were dominating in all aspects. The team came out aggressive under the basket, creating foul after foul for free points at the free throw line, shooting 85%. The credit for all that intensity goes to Gabe Olashini down in the paint, scoring an overall 18 points. But with the three ball not falling at all in the first half, Iowa was still able to shoot 50% from the field in the first half. The defensive end was just as stellar dominating the Spartans as they couldn't find a groove. Iowa proved that by leading 39-28 to at half. But with a Tom Izzo basketball team, there was no way this talented team was going away. The second half, Michigan State cost, caught the buzz that Carver Hawkeye Arena was giving off. Travis Trice lit up in the second half, shooting 7-for-8 from behind the three-point arc. There was no stopping this elite senior as he ended the game with 25 points. The Hawkeyes struggled in areas, mostly offensively, only shooting 36%. MSU was able to produce, especially with rebound, rebounding, having 11 points off second chance opportunities and out rebounding the Hawks 35-29, which is something that usually doesn't happen. Iowa's leader on the court, Aaron White, didn't have the game that was that was expected of him, but that gave the chance for Jared Utoff to show how he contributes, having two major blocks in a defensively dominant game. For MSU's Brandon Dawson, slowly recovering from a wrist injury, it didn't stop him from committing a double-double of 15 rebounds and 14 points, essentially shutting down Aaron White. The Michigan State spark that was created in the second half wasn't enough for Iowa to bounce back as they were given their first Big Ten defeat, 75-61. You know, we weren't making anything. I, I wasn't making it myself. I make a couple of those shots, I think it's a different game. Trice makes, misses a couple of shots, I think it's a different game too. So it's just one of those things that they go on a run and they, get, they got hot. It's a time to regroup and refocus as the team heads to Minnesota next Tuesday, January 13th for their second Big Ten road game. Inside Carver Hawkeye Arena, this has been Taylor Brooks for Daily Iowan TV Sports.